everybody. This is another one of your bad ideas. This, this is a bad idea because I'm drinking what you paid for. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Whiskey at Work. It's Rob, my buddy, down there. How long have we been here? God, How been long here is this buddy thing going to last is what you should be asking. 50 minutes already and we're just getting started. But that's because of Justin. We come down to a place like this and Justin's like, well, look behind you, fellas. What would you like? And so that's why we're 50 minutes into doing this. How am I getting Almost blamed like for something <laughs> that yeah. was good? You, no. That's not a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, you yeah. You are yeah, not. Right? right? I this, mean, is, this is one of the greatest. This, <laughs> we, we've been looking forward to this day for quite a while. Justin. Oh, we're getting close. You've got to be getting excited for this, man. I mean, do you, do you have the same feeling now? Thinking back to the first time you opened up, because what was the first um, what was the first bar you opened? Indy. Indy was the very first one. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have that same excitement for a place like this? Oh, I have the same excitement, but way less of it. I'm scared shitless. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, you have a few. I mean, they, what what are all the places you have so far? You've got so, been in Ale House, Monks in Sioux Falls, right? And then we have uh, Spearfish Public House. So this is going to be number four. Do mm -hmm. you just plan on cornering the market in Rapid City at some point and just opening up well, everything you can? No, honestly, I'd really like other people to open some bars and restaurants because I want a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and quit. how can this not be a vacation? When well, you, just you want to go here? on vacation, you just give me a key and I'll come down and take yeah. it. Oh, be, yeah, yeah. That sounds like a great one. We'd be more than happy to help. Uh, this, uh, you can see uh, behind us, is going to be the brand new Windsor Block Bar here in Rapid City. And it is sexy. It is unbelievably sexy. It was the first time we walked in here when there was wood everywhere and nothing was up or nothing was on the walls. We're like, man, this is going to be kind of cool. And your brain kind of starts imagining what's going to happen. But then when you see everything and it's all lit up and you weren't kidding with about how much whiskey and bourbon and scotch you were going to put in here. I mean, what were you shooting for? Do you remember like how much? Um, as much as I could get. Right. We can fit about a thousand bottles on the back wall. Um, when it really comes down to it. You gotta be getting fairly close to that. How many do you I, think you have so far? Eh, I'm guessing we're around 600. So you got, all right, a little you over half. So, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta but something to, we something haven't to... lit the top yet. Oh, I didn't and, even notice that whole top part. Yep, and then we still have There's backup way. shelves yeah. that we haven't filled either. So, um, we still got room. This is gonna but, be... If anybody wants to bring down their allocated bottle, that's a joke. We are always <laughs> accepting to drink at no cost because oh, we can hey. sell them. <laughs> oh, I said that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's, can you, there's there's liquor laws that affect that. Are so. there? Do we, this? Uh, can we can we pretend? But as long as you don't sell it, okay. we can drink whatever we want in here. <laughs> it's just got to be free. That's so kind how of what we've been doing so far? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what's the, when you take, you have a place like Independent Ale and you have, what is it, is Monks like Independent Ale? Yes. S similar to that. And then uh, the one you have in Spearfish is more, uh, well, entirely whiskey based as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whiskey cocktail bar. You know, the neat one about Spearfish, it's in an old house. And so we actually have a backyard that we're turning into a live music oh, venue. Oh, that's good. So we're going to build an outdoor stage back there. We started tearing stuff up already. So that'll be a live music venue also. Um, so yeah, this is the big brother to Spearfish. So why make two separate liquor establishments? Why, why have a one for beer only and one so, for whiskey? So, so the likes of us don't have to hang with the peasants. <laughs> you do anyway. If it's beer or wine or whiskey, you're with them all. I, it doesn't I matter. I relate to the hoity toys yeah, and the peasants. Sure. <laughs> But why, why, See, can, why do you I want them do separate? Why, why do you want two so, distinct things? I guess my biggest thing behind it is craft beer. There's so much going on. There's so much you can look into and do with it. I wanted to really focus on what craft was. Over here, I really want to focus on cocktails, bourbon, scotch, whiskey. It's to keep it simple, stupid. Do one or two things, do them very well and move forward in life. So you uh, were you super knowledgeable about whiskeys before you kind of started this, or was beer your kind of oh, more your wheelhouse? Beer's definitely been my wheelhouse. The past couple of years, I've got more into bourbon, whiskey, mainly just drinking it and cocktails and all of that. I really haven't gone, 
I'm getting knowledge, and when you have a library to study in like this, uh, <laughs> it helps. But um, so I'm really new to the bourbon end of the things. You know, I know what I like and I know what I don't, but it's not like beer that I can go in and beer I can pick apart. Beer I can say this shouldn't be there, and I can't do that with whiskey yet. So some of it for me is it's just a new challenge. And it's a fun one. But you're bringing in some experts, too. Oh, I yeah. Know, I know we don't have Mark on camera yet. Well, now we do. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, I know uh, he's somebody that's that's studying. I mean, that's, oh. that's learning all about this stuff. And his, his expertise has to help in, in situations like that. Oh, definitely. You know, um, I'm a big guy that says, build it and they will come. Big believer in that. So we are hiring. <laughs> um, we'll talk about that. <laughs> But, uh, you know, if you do something cool, you have people that have that same passion that come out and want to do cool stuff with you. So that's why the build it and they will come thing comes from. When we built Indy, we had a couple beer geeks that came out and they're like, I've been waiting for you to do this. Can I work for you? You know, and Mark seen the program we're going to run here and says, hey, I think this is going to be great. I can bring a lot to the table. And so now he works for me. So what's the, do you, do you notice a difference? Um, like, I mean, you've been in Spearfish, so you've seen a whiskey crowd. Is there, is there a big difference between a whiskey crowd and a beer crowd? Do you, do you notice similarities, differences? Not really when, for the ones we run. You know, we're not doing shots of Jaeger out mm -hmm. of the Jaeger machine. You know, um, but if it's the same if it, way, if anybody comes down here and starts doing shots, we're going to have a problem. OK, <laughs> this none of this do you shoot. See, That's the pretentiousness coming out. And a know. little bit. But am I wrong? Hey, I mean, well, I no, mean we're, we're going to do shots here for net is the bartender's handshake. And you always have to do a shot of for net. OK, I, I mean, Shots aren't necessarily a bad thing, you know, but... <laughs> Look, Justin, I'm holding a, what, $500 bottle of bourbon right here? Pretty close? Ish. <laughs> it's, it's right up there. <laughs> what I could see is some, and maybe, and maybe that, that's what will make a place like this um, valuable, is, is you'll have people that have knowledge. Someone, someone's going to come down and they're going to be flush with cash. They're going to be like, you know what I'm going to do? A shot of what's your most expensive? And I don't think Mark's going to be like, eat, listen, partner. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, let's. Well, let hopefully just, he says that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, first, how many, do, how you many do you want? Right. <laughs> but, but I think having somebody like that in the building to sit somebody down and educate them a little bit, you know, you don't, that this isn't something that you're going to pour in a one ounce glass. Well, yeah, back. exactly. And that's well, the I mean, same you're, thing. You're doing two ounce pours on everything. Yes. Too, everything right? needs going to be a two ounce pour. Um, honestly, because. I just like a two ounce pour. <laughs> you know, I, I knew I, if I like no it. Kidding. My customer's gonna like how it. Much yeah, will, how much know? will fit in the glass? Exactly. And you know, you gotta think about the server's time, how much time it takes to come get that cocktail. And I like my servers not to have to work too hard. So if you give bigger drinks. You hear that, Tori? <laughs> And like he said, they are they are hiring. So if you would, uh, you know, if you'd like to come and work for a, a guy that's that's um, Th that's why this is a five hundred dollar bottle. Well, that's a heavy. You, if you heavy. scratch the paint off of this, this is apparently solid gold. <laughs> yeah. Underneath it. But yeah, I think uh, I think you know, working at a place like this would be. Uh, would be a lot of fun. I mean, you're going to learn so much. And, and bourbon, you know, beer is, I don't know. To me, bourbon is a oh God. I just, okay, yeah, I just yeah, totally I, talked myself no, into No, no, no finish. Yeah, yeah, no finish. I but I do, your... I think bourbon and whiskey and scotch drinking, not pretentious. That's not the word I'm looking for. But I think it's more. Yuppie. Mm, elegant. No, of an educated pastime. Right? Because I think people want to learn about this stuff. They want to learn the history of it. Because beer is, I mean, beer is beer. Beer is for a good time. You can yeah, get some great beer. If you don't right. Well, wine is the part of it. Yeah. Well, maybe. What are you whining about? <laughs> Literally, wine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But Most I, think, of the time. I think that's why people, 
I think they kind of want a place, you know, it's not a place where you're ever going to be rowdy. It's not a place where you're going to really get loud. But this is just a place to come relax and learn something and try some things that you'll, you may never get an opportunity to if you're not dropping secondary market $1,200 on a Well, and some of these bottles, part of the thing that, and I did it with beer, and it's where I really fell in love with the thing. It's why we won't crowl or some of our beers, some of the rare stuff, because you buy a bottle out of Timmins and take it home, you share it with nobody. Right. I get a bottle, he I share I it. Do. Yeah. He doesn't, I no, do. I, I yeah. he doesn't like people I don't in his have house. I, <laughs> yeah. I had people over at the house <laughs> drinking good stuff the other night. Uh, it wasn't me. But, no. And how ahead. So I am very much, I think the whole bourbon collector market is dumb. I think bourbon is meant to be drank. And I, it's the same way I think beer is meant. So I think all these people that, if you're a collector, sorry, <laughs> but take that bottle down, enjoy it with your friends. You know, you might die in a car crash tomorrow and that you never got to drink it. Uh, live in the day. <laughs> well, I mean, but you it's know true. what I mean? You're 100% correct. That's why if, if you have, yeah, if you're, if you're buying it to collect, to put on the shelf to look pretty, what's the point? I mean, maybe, but, but again, to you, that's your thing, fine, but it should be drank. And well, here, you're going to give people the opportunity to drink to, everything. To, exactly, to give it all a shot. So you're doing everything from the bourbons, of course, to the whiskeys, to the scotches, to the Irish whiskey. You're going to have tequila down here, too, Japanese, as well. Japanese, Canadian. The Canadian whiskey, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, we're, you're gonna we're truly going to cover all bases okay. on a higher end level than most bars. There's a caribou crossing down here for all you Canadian fans. So, Oh, it is so good, too. <laughs> uh, first time I had caribou crossing was just last week and I had to believe me I thought about that bottle of like do we really need that on the shelf I could put that in the office you know what I'm not seeing though like black velvet I'm not seeing um so Canadian mist uh, we have a bottle of black velvet I think and we did actually buy a bottle of Windsor (laughs) we're gonna do a Windsor Wednesday special oh well that makes twenty dollars for a three to one Windsor and Coke Okay, I can I can Maybe. see that. I might have Maybe. priced it. Um. <laughs> so do you you still don't have, have a sense of humor for when you still bar. don't have a one hundred percent here's when we open date yet. Yeah, and we never And you saw we'll just open someday. So you know what you should do is just daily strolls up and down the street right here. All right? It's worked for me right, so because, far. Right, because because what's going to happen is you're going to be like, oh, they're not open yet, but there's Independent Ale House. I'm going to go in, I'm going to get a good pizza, and I'm going to have some beer, and then I'm going to walk back. Oh, it's still unopened on my way to my car. Damn it. All right, we're going to try again tomorrow. I just see what happens. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be great. I just pull on the door when I go over for a beer. I'm like, oh, there's people moving in there. I this is open. I guess it's open. Justin's like, come on. <laughs> All right, it is the Windsor Block Bar. It's right next to Independent Ale House. And uh, of course, if you've been to Independent and if you know Justin at all and you know the kind of establishment he runs, you know that this place is going to be a super fun place to be. Knowledgeable people like Mark that are going to be working here, that's probably going to be down here quite a bit to Not answer this questions. Mark. Not this one at all. Come on, I based <laughs> my entire, clarify. I based this I entire, this entire, promotions. I based this entire thing <laughs> on having no idea what any of this is about. I'm learning just like everybody else. So thanks, Justin, for having us down, man, and for opening up damn near a $500 bottle of bourbon for us. That was amazing. Anytime. You heard it. Anytime. Thanks so much for watching Whiskey Award.